a variable sample. And I'll talk about that. I'll go into that more on next week. So let's get back to attribute sampling. As I said, with attribute sampling, you're looking at, if you're looking at attributes in, in testing internal controls. Um, you want to estimate the extent to which that characteristic, right, whether it's uh, shipping documents, so their shipping documents that support sales in the uh, sales uh, journal, uh, exists within the, in the population, right? So if you, if again, specifying what your audit objective is. If your audit objective is to test the occurrence of, of sales, you want to know that for that population of sales, it, that they're valid, that they're supported by shipping documents. So you want to compare it, um, the, estimate the rate that internal controls might not be operating effectively, and again, compare that to your tolerable rate of deviation. The difference with accounts is you have a tolerable misstatement. That's a value, an amount, right? With internal controls or attribute sampling, you have to determine what your tolerable rate of deviation is. How much do, are you willing to accept that this control is not operating effectively? What percentage? Right? Are you willing to, you know, do you want to get controls in a 95% range or a 90% range? Right? And that's specified. And that, again, is the, just like tolerable misstatement is based on the auditor's judgment, so is the tolerable.